like to make a comment? Please state your name. Quite a few times, uh, so I wanted to comment a little bit on the last couple of questions. Uh, we're at API, we publish about 600 standards, and roughly one third of those are referenced. Uh, yeah. My yeah. candidate. Yeah. 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 Well, it was a green light. It's green. Is that better? Yeah. 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 Well done. Well done. And I'm not even an electrical engineer. Uh, David Muller with the American Petroleum Institute. Uh, we've been mentioned several times by the panel and by some of the questions coming from the audience and from the webcast. Uh, first, I would like to would echo what everyone said. Thank you very much uh, to PIMSA for putting this on. It's been very enlightening and a very good discussion. Uh, to a couple of the points that have been raised, uh, we publish about 600 standards. We are an ANSI accredited organization. About a third of those are referenced, uh, so that's the number that we have out of our standards that are referenced. Uh, as was mentioned earlier, all of our standards that are referenced and some of our safety standards that are not referenced because of the importance of those documents are available on the read site uh, for people to take a look at, and we've gotten very good feedback on that. Uh, to an earlier point about whether only organizations that are professional societies as opposed to standards organizations based in trades should be identified as those that can be incorporated, um, our organization is a trade association. Obviously, we have an advocacy mission. That's our goal. Uh, but the part of the standards program that I manage is completely separate in funding. Uh, we are self-supporting. We're ANSI accredited, and uh, it is not a requirement that you be an API corporate member or represent an API corporate member to sit on our standards committees. We've got about 4,800 volunteers, and most of them are not API corporate members because we only have 500 corporate members. Uh, so that's one, that's one uh, notion I think that a lot of people have. Secondly, as an ANSI accredited standards developing organization, uh, it is an open process. Uh, we do have a very good balance between the different interest categories that work on our standards, and so therefore we're welcome to have anyone that sits on a committee with any technical expertise. Uh, so just to clarify a couple of those points, and uh, thank you very much. Thank you. And for